going on out there, Laker fans? Just like to say as a Laker fan, congratulations to the Dallas Mavericks on a well-earned series win. They swept us today, uh, four games to zero. Um, so I do this vlog earlier, the scores right now, 117-84, so they're just whomping on us. They showed up to pull the series out. Lakers didn't show up at all. They didn't, Lakers didn't show no heart at all either. Um, what can I say? You get beat by the better team, you get beat by the better team. Dallas Mavericks clearly the better team. Um, so disappointed, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. I mean, all these emotions have already had a chance to come out, you know. Um, you know, there's always the, the Laker homer in me. You know, thinking that, yeah, they got a chance to win it. You know, to come back and win. Of course, there's always that, that faith in there, real faith. But then, of course, you be, you're you a realist, too. Um, and you see reality, you know, as it is. And you start to kind of like uh, get ready, you know, emotionally for the for defeat. You know, you know, it possibly could be the end. You know, when we fell down 0-2, we lost first game at home. It, that was possibly, I was like, okay, this could possibly be the end. Um... You know, and, and, and of course when we lost game three, it was like this pretty much is the end. Uh, when we lost game three, <clears throat> the best we could do, in my opinion, was just extend to the six-game series. Um, you know, maybe win this game, and then maybe win one at home, and then probably get put out in game six. That was the furthest we were going to go, in my opinion. We got swept today, but I, I was, in my opinion, there was probably a chance we're going to come back and get this team. Get this team. Um, where did it all fall apart, man? Uh, one, Pau Gasol had a horrible postseason not just the series, postseason. But you can't put the blame on that guy. You know, all the blame on that guy. Our bench totally sucked this year. I mean, in, in all season, our bench was pretty inconsistent with the set, exception of Lamar Odom. And even he was, you know, in, inconsistent at times. Um, you know, our bench was horrible. Barnes didn't really contribute anything at all this year. Blake didn't contribute anything at all. And even Brown was pretty inconsistent. And you expect more out of a guy like Brown who's been in our system for about two and a half years. Um, you know, he's been part of the Lakers for two and a half years, so you expect a lot more from him. Um, to kind of take that second, you know, second command behind, uh, you know, Odom uh, and provide, you know, a spark, you know, you know, a little spark off, that, off the bench. Uh, no no, no three-point threat at all. Dallas just ate us up, at, you know, just ate us up completely. Jason Terry ate us up. Peja, when he had the chance, ate us up. Uh, Barrera, what, how's Barrera or whatever his name is, a little tough little guy, man. Uh... Ate us up, Davitsky ate us up. It's pretty much, you know, it's just we just couldn't stop them. Um, <clears throat> but we had our chances in the series too. Game one blew a 16-point lead. Uh, game three blew an eight-point fourth period lead. And you look at the way we lost those leads. Um, settled for jump shots both times. I don't know why. Um, didn't didn't feed the big guys underneath the post. Didn't get try to get to the line um, to extend that lead, uh, especially in game three. You know, Mavericks had missed about two or three shots, and so had we. But we, you know, we're up 79-71. Had a chance to extend the lead double digits. Kept shooting stupid three-pointers and jump shots. Just horrible, uh, sh you know, shot selection. Um, horrible offense possessions. And allowed them, of course, where they hit like two big threes. Started to get back in the game. Um, but, you know, um, you know, I'm always going to be a Laker fan. Still here. I'm um, going to wear this to work today. Um, show everybody I support the You know, I'm still a Laker fan. You don't give a fuck. You know, fuck all them haters out there. Don't talk smack. Um, you know, the franchise has got 16 championships. You know, you can't be more proud of that. It was a great run. All runs come to an end. Um, like I said, no shame in losing to the better team. Um, so, uh, uh, message to the Dallas Mavericks fans. Uh, you guys deserve a championship. You know, I have no animosity towards Dallas Mavericks. Dallas Maver Mavericks fans. And, you know, to me, um, they've been pretty, you know, cool, cool to me. Of course, there's always those Laker fans that get under their skin, and, of course, they're defending their franchise. So, you know, that's the way I am, too. If somebody talks smack about my franchise, I'm going to defend it. Um, but there's nothing to talk smack about this. We got beat, asses handed to us. Uh, and you guys get a, all those Laker fans that are running their mouths. So you guys get rubbed into their faces, and rightfully so. Uh, but I do respect you guys' team. I respect pretty, any, pretty much anybody, anybody's team. Um, <clears throat> you know, even in, even – the ones I hate the most, the team I hate the most was the Boston Celtics. I, I respect them. Um, so, I mean, <clears throat> um, savor this win, but don't be satisfied. You know, I, like I said, Dirk deserves a championship. Dallas Mavericks deserve a championship. Uh, Mark Cuban deserves a championship. To me, uh, I, a lot of people hate that guy. I don't know why. Um, to me, he's as real as it gets. Um, 
You know, if I was the owner, I'd probably be like that. You know, attached. You know, sitting courtside or wherever he sits and yelling and this and that. I, if I was owner, that's where I'd be. Um, so you can't hate a guy for that. He's outspoken. You know what he says is from the heart, and it's it's not like he's being fake. You know, it's not like he pulled a Dan Gilbert and they came out of nowhere and been and said this. And you're like, what the hell this come from? You know, he says what he means. Um, so you know, I wouldn't mind seeing him get a, a championship. Um, so like, like <laughs> I keep um, saying the message to Dallas Mavericks fans: you guys better fucking win the whole thing, man. Don't let this. Don't be satisfied with this. I mean, I'm talking to you guys, fans. You know, and your team. Um, don't let your team be satisfied with just this sweeping us. Um, don't let this, don't let sweeping us go in vain. You know, I mean, um, win the whole damn thing. Uh, you got on the other side, you guys got Memphis and Oklahoma City. I believe you guys could be both those teams. Um, I believe you guys could be any team in the East. Um, <clears throat> it's the Heat beat the Heat. It's the Celtics beat the Celtics. Um, it's the Bulls beat the Bulls. Um, you know, hopefully the Celtics get put out by the Heat. I know a lot of people are like, you know, what the hell are you saying? Especially the young, especially Kobe fans, or maybe the young Laker fans are saying, well, what the hell? You know, they hate the Heat more than Celtics. I hate the Celtics more, way more than the Heat. So I want to see the Heat beat the Celtics so that way they don't get a chance to win their 18th championship. You know, I want to stay right there. And hopefully uh, next couple of years or a few years down the road, get to number 17. You know, changes are going to be made. Cupchick's got to make some moves. Uh, Barnes has got to go, definitely. Blake's got to go. Uh, Brown, possibly, you know, he calls it out. Wouldn't mind seeing him go. Fisher, I hope he retires the Lakers. If he's going to stay on the Lakers, he has to move to the bench. He's hit a lot of clutch shots, you know, in his career. But um, you can hit clutch shots, clutch shots from the bench, too. Um, Walton, of course, has got to go. I don't know what that guy's. <laughs> he's just taking up money. Um, just, you know, that would be a great job to have, just sit on the bench and win championships and get paid for it, you know, not do anything. Um, <laughs> I mean, man, I mean, who, who wouldn't want that job? Um, but changes got to be made, definitely. Trades, you know, all our guys are under contract, so trades or whatever got to be made if there's the NBA season next year. But, um, but <clears throat> great run. Proud of this team. Not the way they perform, proud of the way this, this team has, once, you know, has overcome adversity in the past, but now it's somebody else's turn to, um, to you know, to get it done. So once again, congratulations, Dallas Maverick fans. Uh, be classy. Um, you know, talk smack, but be classy. Um, you know, there are classy Laker fans out there as well. So, um, and make it happen, guys. You know, I'll be pulling for you guys. You know, I'm not going to be, I hope Dallas loses, you know. I hope you guys, you know, pull it off. Um, you guys look hungry enough to do it. So and another thing, guys, uh, uh, wish your mom happy Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, whether she whether she's in physical form or in spirit form, you know, let her know how much you love her. Uh, so I'm really gonna say, guys, um, go Lakers, go Laker fan for life. Gonna be here, you know, no matter what. If we struggle next year, no, you know, no matter what. Been through the '88 to 2000, you know, 2000, you know, drought. No matter to me, Laker fan all the way. Um, so we'll see what happens next year. Until then, go Lakers, go. This is Ron Auction. I'm out.